Sand could be earth. Sand cannot be soil. Sand can't be soil. I don't think sand can be earth. Yeah, why not? I don't don't think... sand on other planets. I think earth has a thicker texture to it. Uh Uh-huh. So sand... It's interesting. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that this is the content that we produce for you. Welcome to GT Not Live, where today my gut biome is all higgledy piggledy. Uh, so if I'm a little lower energy than normal, forgive me. I was up all night, wrapped around a toilet. Food poisoning sucks, Matt. It sucks. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, last night, Steph and I, uh, as part of our, like, I, I had a celebratory dinner for her. A couple days later, we had some leftovers, and so I we remade this hot pot. Love Love hot pot, you know, get out with the fondue pot, load it up with some Asian soup bases and swirl around some meat in there. One of my favorite foods. However, also the one food group that Stephanie has gotten food poisoning off of one day. And then yesterday was my chance to spin the wheel and uh, wind up with food poisoning. So high, high, uh, high risk, high reward food, I guess, as far as homemade hot pot for us. It's rough. Uh, throwing up is one of those just strange bodily functions. It's really cool, though, that your your body has an eject system. Right? It, it, it's it, Right. On one hand, it's, you know, and, and with Ollie, too, like, teaching him, like, what the body does and stuff. Like, you know, he's thrown up. It's, it's scary. Yeah. And even as adults, like, it's it's one of those things where you're like, oh, this is uncomfortable. And this oh, is yeah. something that my body is not really. You got to lean in. You, you know, you, you do, really right? Do. And you feel so much better yeah. after that. You're like. You're like, oh, this is going to suck. Oh, yeah. this is the worst. But then it's like, okay, this is good. And like... Totally. Yeah, yeah the, the fact that your body is so good at sensing. Yeah. Like, this is not okay Get for me. out. Yeah. Like, eject. Yeah. <laughs> There's one of two ways it's going. Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a puker for sure. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm quick to puke. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Uh, you know, if you were you were on Retin Link, you know, doing like all the wacky foods and stuff, you you you'd have that bucket all the time. Kind of, well, it's not like my like puke reflex is really. This is disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not like, I'm not like gaggy. Yeah. You know what I mean. But if my stomach hurts, first thing I'm doing is puking. Really? Like I'm like, get it out. Huh. If That's... I have an inkling that I'm gonna puke, I'm gonna go puke. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. How how is your gut biome these days, man? Oh, solid. Yeah, you got to yeah. go the gut biome. Because I, I think at this point for me, uh-huh. I have decimated any living thing <laughs> that is in my gut from the sheer volume of, of battery acid that I drink <laughs> with the Diet Coke. So either my gut biome is like super strong. Yeah, it's doing reps every day. Yeah, because it's like, oh, here comes the daily influx of a gallon of battery acid. <laughs> or it's a nuclear wasteland yeah. in there and there's nothing. It's like that, that scene in the Stanley Parable. Yeah, yeah, it is a good callback. Thank you. Because uh-huh, well, nice. it's the game we're playing. I, well, there you go. We'll get you on a probiotic. Yeah? Yeah. Does it? Do they work? I, so, I, I've, I've always wondered this. You should make a food theory episode about it. Okay. I have a lot to say. Okay. Yeah. Give me a, a, a taste. Well, so the whole the whole bit with probiotics, yeah. right, is that they're alive. Right. And they need to be living when they get into your stomach. Mm-hmm. And they need to be super strong. Right. Because your stomach acid is going to kill them. Yeah. Right. So you have to... Unfortunately, you have to buy the really nice, really expensive probiotics. That's that's actually one of the things I've heard mm-hmm. is, you know, you have a lot of these like pills and things and, and you know, dry powders and whatever. And because it's, de- you know, you're just taking a pill for nothing, right? Mm-hmm. Like, whereas I've heard that you need like the fancy refrigerated ones or whatever so to ensure that they're still alive yeah. when they enter your stomach. And also the the microbiome is so, is so diverse right. that often different people lack different organisms yeah so you really have to like test the the probiotics that yeah. you take in order to make sure that they're doing something that, that actually fits with your mm-hmm. ecosystem exactly because that's a, that's the other weird thing to me like i look at it, I, i've thought about it. i took one actually for a while mm-hmm. um coming off of india like i mm-hmm. went to india with steph for a vacation one year and my gut biome was decimated for the last the, the next year i don't know if it was something that I ate or just like the food that I was eating there didn't jive with the ecosystem that mm-hmm. was in there. But your fragile American microbiome. I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. My, my fast food centric <laughs> Diet Coke drinking. Yeah, well, I don't know what it was, but it was one of those things that coming back, it was 
all a hot mess. Yeah. And, and eventually I'm like, hey, the amount of times that I'm having uncomfortable trips to the bathroom is, is probably abnormal. Let me go see a doctor about this. And, yeah. And she was like, oh, yeah, you're, you're a hot mess. <laughs> and like, here, take this. Did they do a stool sample? <laughs> Welcome to GT Live. This is the witty banter. Uh, yes. <laughs> Did you have to collect it yourself? Yes. <laughs> I've never been that up close and personal with my own excrement. It's archaic. I can't believe that that is the system. Right? They give, they give you the little, little spoon. The little spoon. <laughs> it's, it's like I'm playing in like the tiniest sandbox, except it's not a sandbox. And it's like, okay, do, 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 let me just do, 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 add it to my little vial. And, and, they give, and you like layer it into the little like plate to layer in the toilet. Yeah. Oof. Whoa, never again. And then you put it in the fridge. Yeah, right. It's... And then you have to put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> right. It was it's... like with your food. Yeah, with your food. It's like, all right, there. Don't open that one. <laughs> hey, Steph, anything's fair game in the refrigerator. Not that one, though. <laughs> Trust me. It's, you don't want to know what went into that one. Uh, but no. And then I got probiotic. And, yeah. then it, and then it seemed to readjust everything. So there's definitely truth to it I th but to your point about like choosing the right one and stuff i think that's one of the the weird things to me too is like when pills are like one million bacteria inside and you're like is that, that, that how, how many millions of bacteria do i want to be ingesting right now like is well, more better like it's just a weird thing now with 10 million bacteria it's like yeah Buy 10 million bacteria, get another 1 million free. The probiotic that I take is 40 million. No, 40 billion. What, with a B. Are you flexing on me right now? Yeah. That is like, uh, that, that's a hardcore <laughs> brag right there. Yeah. Yo, yo, I got a 40, 40, billion, 40 billion bacteria. I think it's CFU. Yeah, it's right. It's, yeah. Yeah, whatever it is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, you know. I have a little army no going on. No, no big. <laughs> Just my gut is filled with 40 billion bacteria right now. Daily. Da da <laughs> daily. They are out there and they are marching for the cause. Yeah, maybe I'll look back into it. But I, after after last night's ex escapades, you yeah, I, you might want to fuel up. I, I think my army is is lacking. lagging. Yeah. yeah, they're they're lacking in there. <laughs> they were all like, "Woo, we're going on a ride!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, the last thing, it it is funny to think about like the idea of environments and environments and environments, and it, you know, us humans are used to societies and stuff. But like bacteria's bacterium, like it's living creatures too, right? Yeah. And so to think like, oh, there's 40 million, it's a, there's like a whole world of stuff in there. Like you are someone else's world, which yeah. is very strange. Yeah. You know, th that whole idea of, you know, humans are collections of cells and those cells work together. Like, it's just weird to think that like within the stomach alone, you got this like weird communal system of bacteria all living and working together. It's odd, odd stuff. So anyway, my army is lacking right now. Uh, so again, like I said, if, if it's a little bit lower energy, if I'm not jumping around this gym today, uh, you know, that, that's why if I, if I move too much, the, the residue of stale meat or I don't know what it was in my stomach is, is gonna behave badly. So uh, we're back with Stanley Parable. Uh, when last we left things off, we were going through Stanley Parable 2.0. We explored holes. We became Jim. It's we're collecting. We're collecting collectibles across the board. We're having a grand old time, looking for the new endings and the new content that exists in the game. I am curious about this though. So it's asking us to please enter the current time. Uh, I've restarted the game. If you'll recall, last time we actually entered the time, and they were like, "Hey." Thank you so much for being, you know, so diligent in filling out the... Because it was the sec Every time we launched the game, they ask us to reset the time. So we did it the first time. The second time popped up. We did it again. We're like, that's weird. The th after the second time, he's like, hey, feel free to ignore it the next time you see it. So I'm assuming that if I hit confirm and just ignore it, he will have comment on that. So what do you think? Do we, do we listen to him since he told us to not worry about it? I think we listen. Yeah, I think we listen. Oh, you said the same. I did. So after my big speech about how impressed I was that you weren't just inputting 12, you go and do it. You told me to do it. I don't know how I feel about this. Or maybe is 12 o'clock actually your favorite time of day? Do you truly just love 12 o'clock? Because if you do, well, let's just say I've spent a lot of time being mad at the people who set the time to 12 o'clock. 
Have I been unfairly vilifying them for their love of 12 o'clock? Perhaps I have. Let's settle this with a sli- With a slider? Okay. How unfair is it to dislike people whose favorite time is 12 o'clock? I'd say that's pretty unfair. Right, Matt? Yeah, that's pretty unfair. Because, like, I like 11.11. 11.11 is my favorite time of day. Because that's the that's the time of day when you make a wish, right? right? Eleven eleven a.m. or eleven eleven p.m. So to dislike someone or to have judgment of someone just because of a time, yeah, that's unfair. I'm gonna say that's fully unfair. Wow. Right here. You know, can I just say, regardless of whether it's actually midnight right now, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm leaning, mo learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. Wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders that I have. Perhaps I can invent new sliders to gather new data on you. Yes, I, I just want to restart the game over and over and engage with this. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip some cup, a couple up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Oh, I'm very excited to find out our new sliders. All right, Stanley Bearable 2, begin. So last time, we went through the basic ending of the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Yeah, we can skip this, I'm assuming. Stanley worked for a There's company our new in balloons. a building where he was employee number 427. Employee number... Okay, we can skip that. We've seen it. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so now... No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Figurine finder committee in the meeting today in the meeting room. I do want to go to the meeting room so I can get my figurine. There's our confidence bucket. Do we want the confidence bucket this time? It's a reassurance bucket. Yeah, I, I know, but do I need to be reassured this morning? Well, so, so, so here's a little fun tip from oh. somebody who is reading the walkthroughs. Yes. Um, most of the new endings are accessed by doing the old endings with the reassurance bucket. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, so I, I just, I should always bring the I reassurance bucket. I think we bucket. should take it with, yeah? with us everywhere we go. Really? Stanley okay. lifted the bucket into his arms and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Wait, so I should, so then I should go back and do some of the old endings? Like, should I hop out the window again? I'd give it a shot. Can I? Let's, let's try it. Come on. Oh, come on, reassurance bucket. Lift. There we go. Yes, whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped <laughs> from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. Okay. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Wow. Of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold <laughs> numbers of innocent humans, <laughs> and the bucket's own complicity therein. Oh, my gosh. Of sadness and regret, <laughs> and the many old. years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, <laughs> if only it had been stronger. Oh. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed. You do, you and the bucket. bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. Man. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done. Wow. Perhaps, the bucket wondered to oh. itself, perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, hey. the bucket furrowed its brow. <laughs> no, said the bucket. No. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first what? ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. What? I was young back then and could not conceive the <laughs> ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, oh no, is transforming it... into a mighty beast of... Is this is a Dark Souls boss? Its fangs glistening like... What? 
No! Stem, oh. <laughs> you did it. You saved us from the bucket. Oh, no! Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. What? Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Oh, Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. <laughs> what? Oh, no! Oh, my poor bucket! He was just- he was just grappling with his life's decisions. He wasn't all that bad. I mean, it sounds like he did some pretty bad stuff. You know... He- maybe he had a bad upbringing. <laughs> maybe he needed a second chance, Matt. Hmm. So I- I like to imagine in the period of dark between the white room and, and that like final reveal that there was like a dark soulsian style oh, bucket oh. boss and i was do stanley was dodge rolling and the bucket was literally like like the fire giant in elden ring a giant like rolling around and he's like slamming his handle down you're dodge rolling through it, and then you're smacking it with your like office pencil maybe a pair of scissors its special attack is that it just like jumps on your head so yeah. that you can't see. Oh, ooh. it's like a suffocation thing. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say it grows big, and it flips over top of you, and then you're just trapped inside of the bucket. That's pretty good too. Right? Not yeah. bad. Not bad. Mm -hmm. He likes. He has a twirling attack where he just oh. spins a bunch. Yeah, yeah. Classic. So, that was unexpected. Didn't see that one coming. I like that we've already oh, learned the lore of the gone. bucket. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Yeah, I figure... Let's, let's bring him along. He's a, he's a fun little adventure friend. Let's see, let's go to the meeting room. Actually, no, let's not go Stanley to the meeting room. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Disagree. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. See, the bucket knows what's up. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Oh, so yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. It's very smart. It's a quality bucket. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his left. To go back to the meeting room. Nah. Pass. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Wow. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. I like that the, the bucket has truly become this, this nefarious presence. Okay. So, in the interest of doing... Since our first part of the playthrough actually had us revisiting some old endings from the original game. I'm gonna try to recreate as many of those as we can. So one was us actually jumping off, wasn't it, and dying. But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. Wow. How deeply touching. Truly a tale as old as time. A classic Romeo and Juliet. All of his co-workers Stanley and gone. Bucket. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply met warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. That's true. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. There we go. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Okay. And here it was. Had the bucket <coughs> turned out to be correct? No. Never <laughs> mind. Perfect timing. The bucket was wrong. <laughs> Stanley took the door on his wrong. left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go Good, said the bucket. Huh. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Oh, man. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. That's not true. I'm dis I'm dis I'm disobeying my bucket friend. It's interesting. Now I have like two layers of people who are dictating what I do. So you have like the original concept, 
which is the narrator deciding our our actions, and now there's also a bucket that's deciding our actions. Haha, -ha, but I've dis no, stop. Oh. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Hmm. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? You're Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what oh. isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Really? Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. Oh. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences <laughs> on the entire rest of the game. Oh, please give me a test. Dress quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. This whole time I've been holding like a little demon. Step in here for a moment. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> New garage. A twist! <laughs> oh no! Now then, oh, I'm no. going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the <laughs> thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Oh, great. Simply okay. enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about oh, what is, is great. or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Oh my god, can this be... Item one. Okay. Is this a bucket? You know what's great about this? I, I watch this. This could very well be a real world game show. Oh, totally. If Netflix can green light a game show called Is This Cake? Yeah. Or Is It Cake or whatever it is? Yeah. Is This a Bucket? Is like in the exact same universe. It's like the natural spinoff. It, right? It, it, absolutely. This, this is just like, uh, this isn't Stanley Parable 2.0. This is a soft pitch to Netflix being like, <laughs> hey, I know that you're dialing back the amount of original content they're making, but this, this is the show that you're going to want a green light. I'd watch it. Is this a bucket? I would actually watch this more so than I would watch Is It Cake. Oh, Kate. totally. Because, like, I think the question of is this a bucket is fascinating. Yeah. In Is This Cake, it's just cake masquerading as real life yeah, things. Like, what, what could Is This a Bucket mean? Right, exactly. You, you, you know, know, you're deciding, is it a container for something? Like, what mm -hmm. truly defines a bucket? Whereas cake... You know, I think they missed a crucial opportunity there to be like, here's bread. Here's a mm. roll of bread. Is bread cake? Mm. Ah, but that, I mean, it's like a food. We did the food theory episode about how Subway's bread is classified as cake in Ireland, I think it is, mm. because it has so much sugar in it. And so that idea of like, is this cake? And you're like, well, no, it's bread. And they're like, no, it is because it's got the requisite amount of sugar in Ireland. That is the game show that I want to see. Missed opportunity there. So bucket, same thing. What actually defines a bucket? You never know. Never I guess know. we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's see. Let's see how we do. I would say that this is a bucket. That yeah, looks like a bucket. Right? I would say yes. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a <laughs> bucket, not an actual bucket. <laughs> I was wondering if it would be troll. I, I figured it troll some way. Item okay. Two. Is this a bucket? Yeah, <sighs> you know. They fooled me once with that here. Can I can I look at I can't get closer to it. I'm a little bit bummed that I can't inspect it further. I'm gonna say yes, that is a bucket. Oh correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. See, I would argue that a 3D printed recreation of a bucket is still a bucket, is it not? Because it can still contain. Item three. Is this a bucket? Just because it's a recreation of a... By the nature of it being a recreation of a bucket, it is therefore a bucket. Right? Well, I think it depends on what what philosopher you yeah. you go by. Yes, uh-huh. Because it's like... Immanuel Kant would say that that is a bucket. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, but, the, but the term that you're using, by, by it being a replication of a bucket, <laughs> means that the essence of the bucket is no longer there. Ooh, that's deep. That's deep. <laughs> Right? But by the ship of Theseus. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yay! Great. This is a bucket. Nailed it. Rocked it. Okay. I'm so good. There's a lot of these. Item four. Is this a bucket? <coughs> hmm. So I would say this is not a bucket. I would say that this is a tractor. What do you think, Matt? Tractor, bucket, or something else? You know, I'm tempted to agree with you. 
Yeah, you're tempted to agree that yeah. it might be a trick. I'm gonna say no, not fuck it. Hey! This is a tractor. Boo! Right. Let's go, Honest, fam! I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. No okay, problem. Next one. All right. I don't know. You can contain things within the cab of the tractor. Just saying. Is this a bucket? <laughs> gonna say, still a tractor. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Uh, how so? <laughs> no, no explanation whatsoever. <gasps> okay, here we go. Item C. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. <laughs> It is both a bucket Item. and not Wait, a bucket. Hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Oh. Is there anything in the world? No. Nope. <laughs> uh, invisible bucket. Yes. Invisible bucket. Okay. You and I both know <laughs> there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore nothing could possibly be something. That's deep. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Okay. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? No, I think that there are some things that are buckets. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? We are all bucket. We're also all Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin mm. with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. Oh, no! I can't have that. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Let's I'm going to this. erase all buckets from the game <gasps> entirely. Okay. Here we go. Oh no. What happened? Is everything gone? Because everything is a bucket. Did everything disappear. Wait, was everything a bucket? It was a Every single thing in the game was a bucket. I see. Oh my God, I had no idea. <laughs> How could, except me. I'm not a bucket after all. There you go. And you, Stanley, I'm you're here still too. here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Makes you feel good about yourself. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets. Great. Okay? I think that's a good and call. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. Everything. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. I wonder, knowing this, and that, that ending, I wonder if you went back and did the what is a bucket ending again, and you said yes to everything, if that would change what you got. Um, I'm assuming not, but I'm, like, hearing him say that, immediately my mind jumps to, if you did that game again and either answered all the questions correct, based on, you know, the answers that they say are correct, yeah. or if you said yes to everything is a bucket, mm. and then he's like, oh, everything's a bucket. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, you, you're looking at the walkthrough, so you would know. Well, so the walkthrough just says to, to do all of the previous endings with the bucket. Okay, well, there you go. Well, we did that one. That was a brand new ending. Brand new, Matt! Never before seen! So there you go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? New content, Stanley as they decided say. to go to the meeting room. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? I was still really want to find my mind, hole. The bucket was wrong. And the gym Stanley button. Took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. We're also still missing three collectibles. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. 
There's something up there I need you to do. Okay, this time we'll ride Stanley with Dolly did not Chapman. question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. Mm. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. It's true. Why would I question? I know the true nature of the In bucket. here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. This dark room? I wouldn't call this a dark room. Sure, all right. Oh, this dark room. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, oh, hello. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Oh, no. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Okay, we'll do it. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Is distressing with that button. There we go. Great. Beige pages. Oh, there he is. There's my buddy. Oh, hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press L to take me to work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. That's what you think. Press C to take me back home with you. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Press I to go back to work. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. I think this location. guy's trying to define That's what it. a bucket is. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press P for us to go home. Bucket. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. <coughs> this stupid hunk of metal. Wow. Not be judgy. Press C to ignore anyone in your life except for me, bucket. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it's it. It's a good shine. Top tier. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press I to go home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. Oh, no, the narrator is just a little more influence, of, too. What am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Press Y to relive the same day with me over and over. Oh, oh. God, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Press T to go home. To work, to home, to work, to home. Oh, no. I'm, I'm having feelings. For the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this nice romantic evening we have with our bucket. This is kind of disturbing. Gotta admit. This is, uh, this is getting... A little, bit, a little bit creepy over here. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give no. it to me now. Give no. it or I'll... Go back to work, Stanley. Oh. 
great. This is a perfectly normal game. Totally fine. Nothing, nothing strange to see here, friends. All of this code. I get it. Well I'd be jealous Wait, of that bucket too. No, this isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Wait, what? Is this a different office? <laughs> Who farted? Wait, this is a, this is a normal office, isn't it? I think so. Oh, there we go. Input. The good old bucket. Just Stanley in the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his go chest. This, way. this was not the correct way to the meeting. And then we'll room, cut back over. Stanley had felt the we bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Okay, so now we'll cross back over. Stanley took the door on his left to go back. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Or did we? We descended into the depths. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. Are you? I knew you'd find this place eventually. Oh. We care about you, Stanley. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. Oh no, it's an intervention. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. It's good content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the <laughs> Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more <laughs> of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Uh, disagree. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Get out of here. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? I'd love it. We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, oh. yes. That's Ooh. what the fans want. Let's do it. Great. But as long as I can carry my bucket around, this bucket is top tier. This is top tier bucketing right, right now. So this baby, because <coughs> we didn't see this the first time. So this baby, Matt, is a baby that ceaselessly approaches a fire, basically. And you have to press a button for hours to stop it from descending into its own demise. Can you ever stop it? Uh, yeah, if you go for, I think, like, four hours. I think it's, like, mm. four hours. We did it for four hours. Mm. We, like, took turns in the office to stop him for, like, four hours. And then it ends. And it's like, you saved the baby. That's it. You just saved the baby. Uh, there, there's a little bit more to it. I, I don't really fully remember all of it, but that's definitely... Here's the thing. The conclusion of it wasn't what was memorable. What was memorable was spending four hours clicking a button. <laughs> it was also memorable too because at some point the the game froze or mm. something, so we had to actually do it twice. Oh, which was great. Yeah, super fun. A, a day well spent. <laughs> Wee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Yes, adventure line. Now this Wait, is what no, the I, Stanley I Parable that. is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Whoa. Get out of here. Are you asking me to give up the bucket? Never! Never give up the bucket! Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. Oh no! That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Wait, what? Oh! <gasps> Whoa! I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley <laughs> Parable. It also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? No. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the Bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. 
Oh no! No! How dare you, sir? Certainly. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the out. bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? It's true, like baby. Well, you see, Cut out. if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. <laughs> I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... Again, in another game, I would love to see the bucket destroyer assume a role in just another boss battle against Bucket Destroyer. The Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. Dead. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about Thumb you and all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Indeed. Look at all this new content we're experiencing. It's great. <coughs> I don't know. To me, Bucket Destroyer felt like his motives weren't fully fleshed out. Like, why buckets? Why not pails? Well, but, the, well, but what's the difference? A, between a bucket and a pail? Mm -hmm. Get out of here. You don't know the difference between a bucket How and wonderful. a pail? Stanley was alone. Finally. Matt, this everyone is knows great, the difference. He thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. I'm gonna destroy Stanley it. just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be put. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Going this way. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back. And so the two of them detoured through the okay. maintenance section back down. and I want to see if I destroy the bucket. to the what opposite happened? door. Okay. The difference between a bucket and a pail? Pail is smaller. Well, you can't just oh, have a tiny bucket. Oh, Stanley. I'm no, glad you found your way No here. such thing as I a tiny bucket. I knew you'd find this place eventually. No such thing. Here, let's see what happens when we You destroy. see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. That's nice. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones yes. that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this... Bucket that they've never seen it. before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? Do, we do could it. make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. <coughs> Here, Matt, do me a favor. Look up the difference between a bucket and a pail. Maybe there is one. I'm on it. Please, Whee! this is very Look important. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where crucial. it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Here. Well, you look that up. I'm going to proceed to the Bucket Destroyer. Now, this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. Okay. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Okay. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. 
Okay. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition. If to only he would stop talking so we could actually power. discuss the truly it important also was stuff. Not in the original Bucket versus pail. I muted him. Okay, you muted him? Yeah. So what talk. is it? Um, let me read this. <clears throat> the difference between a bucket and a pail is mostly semantic variations yeah. in people's perceptions. We use pail with certain words and bucket with certain words, although both of them refer to the same type of container. Huh. Here. Flip them on for a second. I'm going to destroy this bucket or pail. You good? Yep. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the Ooh. bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer Ooh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. I just look at that it. That is its singular personality trait. Oh, the bucket won't let me destroy it. How does a no! personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Powell Yeah, you can't do it. Well, you see, if you were to really explore the huh. bucket destroyer, what a you'd twist. see that its desire to crush all right. buckets is Here. so dense. So since we've already seen this, let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. Really okay, like so it's mainly semantics, but what, so there's no defined definition? Yeah, it's the same thing, just two different words. Really? Mm -hmm. mm, that's disappointing. Like, uh, I was hoping that there would be more more nuance to it all. It's another example of that. Of there being two, two, two words that for are the same thing. For the same thing? Mm. I feel like there's a lot, but I also had food poisoning. Yeah, I'm so that's my excuse. My brain just keeps going to read and read. <laughs> you talking about homonyms? Yes. Homophones? Homonyms, homophones. Oh, no, the, there's a difference between. Because one is yeah. like two words that sound the same, and one is right. two words that are spelled the same. Right. Mm -hmm. Homophones would be the sound the same, right? Because of the phone. Perhaps. Okay. B words. That okay. Let's think about yeah, this. No, yeah, we could do it. Come on, Matt. Um, <sighs> it was a long night. Yeah. Uh, okay. Canoe. I, <laughs> canoe <laughs> and kayak. No, those are different. Those things. are two different things. Um. The the comments are screaming. Fire and flame. Is it no? Know. No. been a long day I know, my coffee hit weird this morning you know when the caffeine just makes you shaky yeah that's where i'm at okay still tired just shaky no, plant no yeah i know come on come on come on um D oh i got it oh, okay. i got it okay thank goodness yeah thank goodness please please don't hate us comments although i can't wait to see all the suggestions <laughs> that are down in the comments of like here's everything that they missed i got one though dirt soil Earth. I think those are all different things. You know what to do. <laughs> I disagree. Really? Yeah. Oh, here, here. Without looking it up, what would you define as the difference? Dirt can be grime. Dirt doesn't necessarily have to be like yeah, I, like soil. I mean, sure, but also. And then soil specifically is for planting, whereas earth describes anything. I think you're being pedantic now. I, you just asked because, me what the difference was between a bucket and a pail. Well, sure. <laughs> and I'm being pedantic. So you're saying that bucket and pail are so specific that they can't refer to anything else. Yeah. And so they are literally two. The Venn diagrams if, of both of those words yes. perfectly overlap. Like, pass me the bucket and pass me the pail. Right. It's the same object. Sure. But if I said, pass me the dirt, yeah. you would be, here's a bucket, here's some soil. Or here is some dust. Well, in that context, yes. But if it's like you got some dirt on you, it could be anything. Okay. So you're saying, so there the Venn diagram for the word dirt is mm -hmm. big. It does overlap with soil. Yeah. But not 100%. Correct. So we're saying that the Venn, I, I, we need a whiteboard in here <laughs> to define all this stuff. Yeah. So you're saying that the Venn diagrams are not perfectly overlapping. Correct. The Venn diagram between a bucket and a pail. What is about a soil and earth then? The smaller, closer to a. Right, soil. I feel like those are those are very similar. More oval shaped, but like, I like do. Like pass think me that the different. earth, pass me the soil. Well, I think harking back to you've got some soil on you is different than you've got some earth on you. No. Yeah. How, how is having earth on me different than having earth soil? Earth could be clay. Earth could be. Earth could be rocks. Earth. I guess earth could be clay. No, earth cannot be rocks. <laughs> if I said you have earth on you, you do not have rocks on you. I will give you clay. Yeah. Because, yeah, okay. Earth could be um, 
planets. Sand. sand could be earth. Sand cannot be soil. Sand can't be soil. I don't think sand can be earth. Yeah, why not? There's I don't no think sand on other planets. I think earth has a thicker texture to it. Uh huh. So sand. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that this is the content that we produce for you. I am so sorry. I don't think so. I don't think sand is earth, but I, for whatever reason, I would say clay yeah. is earth. Uh huh. Like like earthenware pots, right. Which are made of clay. Yeah. That is earthenware, right? Yes. So clay therefore falls into that. Yeah. Okay, but very good, much, much similar. Like, it's that's like an 80% overlap, Yeah, 90% overlap. Soil and earth, I'll give you, are very similar, but they are different. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't see you coming up with any. <laughs> um, um, stuffed animal and... You're going to some weird places. I was, just thinking, I was just looking at Peepachu. I understand. Well, Peepachu could mean that Peepachu. Oh, wait, no. No, <laughs> it's the no, same, yeah, word. It's same thing. Things. What about... Food? Food's too broad. Food and nourishment. Those are different. I would argue that a lot of food is not nourishment. A pixie stick, not nourishment. <laughs> That's fair. And it's interesting. I was going to say nourishment isn't necessarily food. Mm, like yeah. I could get nourishment from the sun, That's, which is not food. Well, depending on who you ask. What, nourishment from the sun? You know the sun starers? The sun stares? Those people are dumb. I, I don't know the sun stares, but I can tell you already, that's stupid. Think, that's going to burn a hole in your retina. I think there's a different name for them, but there are people who claim that they can eat, like, sunlight. What? Yeah. That, no. <laughs> that doesn't ex That's not a thing. Well, it, Live your to, truth, but that doesn't necessarily you, mean your truth is a, isn't a lie. You, I think it makes sense. They have chlorophyll? No. The, I was watching an episode of Wife Swap where one of them was a... Uh, was a ah that's it <laughs> wife swap the bastion of educational content that's it i've learned i more. learned this factoid <laughs> off of wife swap i've learned more from wife swap than i have from most shows wow yeah really give me another a, a nugget of n nourish me with some knowledge with man some, um let me do my job meeting room that perhaps he had simply okay. missed a memo give me give me a, a nibble of nourishment of knowledge off of wife swap. I learned what what 2006 was like, just as a year. As a year. <laughs> I learned a lot about the year 2006. A Great. A humble bucket. Cool. A committed bucket. A what bucket else? Of you don't like wife swap? No, no. I, I'm not saying that there's nothing inherently bad about wife swap. What I am saying is that left. for you to use that as your educational resource. That's not my only. I would hope. I would hope not. <laughs> I watch your videos. Oh, so mad. <laughs> Man, scraping the bottom of the barrel. Oh, hello. Ooh, trust the completionist instinct. Oh. Weird spinning figurines. Oh, saw one in the car. Oh. Saw one in the cargo room. Do we need contracts for them? No. NDAs. Potential liability. Ooh, bonus stuff. What we know, what we forgot. What we don't know yet. Oh, this is great. Artist surrendering. Quarterly success. Why is it floating? Magic dreams. Magnets. It's magnets. It's clearly floating because it's magnets. It's floating on top of a superconductor. Okay, thank you and good luck. Wait, where are they though? Source of levitation. Okay. Maybe we are the collectibles. Do we make concern? I managed to pick up sounds unusual to our regular office ambiance or local audio sources using an array of cardioid microphones, also called directional mics. Yep. Analysis of this recording allowed me to triangulate the source of the strange noise. Data shows that, in all likelihood, it's coming from a dark area behind a very warm place. I also picked up what looked to be a reverberance off of a porcelain surface. So it seems like one is behind a fire, like a dark place behind a fire, and the other one is in a bathroom, if it's porcelain. Follow the clues provided by employee 416. Ooh, there's a red room? Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is great. Please do not leave the office before reporting back on any findings. Teamwork and communication are great importance for the... Yeah, okay. There will be a reward for finding lies. Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. I want to go home. 
there will be cleaning of the walls required. It's like 427. Five, there be, just take it from me. Okay. Oh, inside a sequel exhibit. Places, oh, these are the ones that we found. Okay, nearby a fireplace. Okay, so we found the fireplace one. Private but smelly place for an important person. That was the one on the toilet. So here's the large room, lots of boxes. Stairs, something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. So those are the three that we need. Great. Produce one plague to allow ease of access. Okay. Construct bridge to allow the collection of shiny float. Retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor. Who is Chris? That's the question. All right, so you got an idea of where these things are? Stairs, large room, lots of boxes, and somewhere red and blue. Lots of boxes, stairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. You gotta go down. Somewhere red and blue. Yes, there we go! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. Ooh, Figlies! figlies. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic like sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Figly. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Nice. Wait, wait. That's an example of two words describing one thing. Whoa! See, no, I, I disagree. No. <laughs> So a Stanlerine feels very specific to a Stanley parable figurine or a figurine shaped like Stanley from the Stanley parable. Uh -huh. A figly uh -huh. is a much more generic term. Well, it's a figurine of Stanley. Stanley, I know. Yeah. But I think fig, whereas Stanlerine requires the Stan part of it. Uh -huh. I think a figly doesn't require the Stanley part of it. A figly, like, this could be a figly, right? I don't think that could be a figly. No? No. Why not? Look. Because it... Figly. <laughs> it's a figly of a Pikachu. Well, a Stan Loreen could be... This is not... I would not classify this as a Stan Loreen. I would classify it as a figly. Because figly is just a cute general term. I see what you're saying. Because the L-Y ending added onto words yeah. feels kind of fun and lighthearted in a way that Stan Lorene. Yeah, okay. That doesn't apply quite as strongly. I'll give it to you. Okay. Stan Lorene's Okay, let's finish this off. One more, right? Okay. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished, his boss would think he was crazy, and then something occurred to Stanley. Okay. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket, the bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. Oh, it's an it's imposter just bucket. A normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. No, it says How property Stanley on it. How did I with someone else's bucket? It's got this my stickers. This is terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating. Was, of course. <laughs> sent into madness. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Woo! Oh, gracious, he exclaimed. Oh, Without my floating. bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley! Stanley! Bucket! Me. I'm here, Bucket! Bucket, I'm here! He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the oh. next. None of them were his. No. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. I'm looking for your bucket. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his no, sanity. Garbage bucket. Fake, suddenly, fake. He froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. Inside me? The real bucket was inside of him all The bucket was the friends we made along the way! It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony. Oh, jeez. And blacked out. The bucket wasn't here. Whole time. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. 
A twist! Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, oh, and wow. to her place of work. Oh. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, oh, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. What it is? Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket. Oh, at that's where it was! How cruel the world can be. It's true. One mistake like she that. She hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her yeah, no, no one's got time for a dead body on the street. Guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. Good, and I'm she glad for her. Flipped all the way to work. Wow, backflipped her way to work. That's impressive. Wow, awesome. Well done. Well, there you go. Friends, the story of Mariella, that's Stanley Parable 3 right there. A back-flipping, bucket-loving employee. That's great. Do you backflip your way to work every every day, Matt? I mean, you've seen me. Am I backflipping? I mean, do I actually see you? Wow. I, I mean, you are a figment of my imagination, so. When you picture me, am I doing backflips? Yes. Well, then. Well, you know, actually, no. It's not backflips so much as it is backwards. No, no, not front flips either. I know how flexible you are. It's yeah, I see you more as like doing like back walkovers. You're not oh. jumping and flipping, you're doing back walkovers. Uh-huh. You haven't you haven't quite there's gotten like a, to the you haven't gotten quite to the point of like the jump and flip. Oh. But there's like a delicate grace. Yes, there's a delicate to grace the way that I'm executing. The, yes, 100%. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it is still a like let me walk backwards on my hands. You can tell that my back is really strong. Yes. I, I don't fall. Your vertebra very very solid. Yeah. Very uh flexible. Thanks. Great, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that's so that's what I imagine you. You don't, I, I, as far as I know, you don't have any buckets though. No. No, it's a shame. No. So I get you a bucket. I know I haven't gotten you a tube slide yet, but what about a bucket? No, I'm not gonna settle for a bucket. Okay. All right. Well, good to know. Good to know. Good to know that we're at this impasse. Uh, so there you have it, friends. That is more Stanley Parable. Got a lot of endings this time. How are we on endings? Like, have we gotten? How, ma how many endings are there, Matt? There's how more. long is this? There's more. There's are there? There's a lot more, yeah. A lot more. I mean, as for each of the endings sure. that you could have, there's an alternate bucket ending. Okay. Um, I'm disappointed that I have yet to find all the Stan Lorenes. Yeah. Figlies. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming that the hole and the gym button must exist, right? Well, we found the hole. <sighs> when? Last episode. What we spent like three hours in it. Oh, no, no, that was the... So, what I'm saying is in Stanley Parable 2, oh. where the hole is. Because uh -huh. you're right, in the showcase of new features for Stanley Parable 2, we explored the hole. But now, in the new game, mm. in Stanley, they're like, here's all these new features that we're going to have in Stanley Parable 2. Yeah. But that was like the expo hall. Oh. We have not found... Right. The hole, the jump circle, mm -hmm. and the gym button, yeah. which I'm assuming must be here. If the bucket's here. So I think next time we wrap up yeah. by finding Jim. We need the gym button. We need yep. the hole. Yep. Find those last two Stan Lorenes. And that's, you know, there's a lot more that people can play, but I think that's a good way to wrap. I think that's a great idea. Cool. So tune in next time, friends, for one final installment of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a.k.a. Stanley Parable 2, a.k.a. Stanley Parable DLC, uh, you know, one and a half, where we... We'll find all the new features and experience what this game has to offer. It's great. I, I, this game makes me so happy. I could play this game forever. Uh, I know I can't because we have to move on to other series on the channel, but this is, this is such a blast to play. So as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. And remember, it wasn't a video. It was a video. It wasn't a live stream. It was a video, a video for you. See ya! You see, Matt, th that right there, that is the sequence that we run at the beginning.
of the episode, the one that welcomes people to the, not the one that sends them away. That that right there is the wrong button to be pressing. You know, the one that that's, that's, we're looking for the conclusion, maybe, the ending. Maybe maybe I don't want to say goodbye. I understand. Maybe we're in a repeating time loop with our reassurance bucket. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so, do you want to try? Again? Should we try this again? No, hold on. I, I make sure make sure you're hovering over the right thing. You got it. You feeling good? Feel confident? Almost. Do you need some reassurance? I do actually. Okay. Well, a bucket I've... would be nice right now. Okay. Well, here's here's reassurance, peep you. Great. Great. Cool. <laughs> All right, so I get a second chance at my takeaway. Too, yeah, do it again. I'm starting to feel, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm tired now. <laughs> and remember, that wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya. Hey!